Until two days ago, the task force set up to track these two escaped prisoners didn't have a clue where they were. Information that the men were hiding out in Panama City, Florida, led police to this motel on Saturday night. And with no way out, the fugitives surrendered within minutes. In 1998, Joseph Jenkins killed a father of six. He strolled out of jail in Florida on September the 27th this year. Charles Walker fatally shot a 23-year-old man in 1999. He got out of prison on October the 8th. They had both used fake documents authorizing their release to fool the prison authorities. It is quite evident that uh, someone uh, forged a court document, filed a motion, and that someone uh, with the aid of a computer uh, lifted my signature off of previous signed documents, which are public records, affixed that to the document, sent it to the clerk's office. It was processed and forwarded to DOC, and the defendant ended up being uh, released. Just three days after each man was released, they had the audacity to register with the authorities as former felons, as required by law, and then they vanished. Police set up a task force to hunt them down, slapped a $10,000 bounty on their heads, and issued public warnings that the fugitives were extremely dangerous. Mugshots of the two murderers were on television stations and freeways statewide, but until now, they managed to stay one step ahead of the law. On Saturday, the fugitives' families held a press conference and appealed to the men to turn themselves in. After weeks on the run, Joseph Jenkins and Charles Walker are now back behind bars. And new rules mean that prison authorities must notify judges before releasing violent offenders. So there'll be no unauthorized get-out-of-jail papers in the future. Wendy Urquhart, BBC News.